Hi everybody, this is the Trig 2 review, and this is, sorry, the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review, and this is uh, question 1F. I'm going to solve this equation right here, but we have to solve it, sorry, in this domain. Okay, which gives us a negative half rotation to a positive half rotation. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the equation here. Okay, well this question, this equation right here has got two really, really bad things happening here. First of all, We've got two different trig functions here that we cannot factor apart. Okay, so that's problem number one. Second, the argument of the, tri of the sine function is 2 theta. The argument of the cosine is just theta. Because those two arguments are not the same, I'm running into another problem here. Those need to be the same before I can do any, any algebra or any, any solving on that. Now, this is the one that's really causing me the issues here because I don't really know what I would do with cosine to get it by itself, but I already know that there's an identity that goes with sine of 2 theta. Now, when I plug that in, I'm going to get 2 sine theta cosine of theta plus the cosine of theta is equal to 0. Now, that did not actually deal with the first problem as, as directly as I would have liked. I would have loved it if I could have written sine of 2 theta in terms of just cosine. But, on the plus side, what that did is that allowed cosine to be factorable. I, so I can, I can factor cosine out of this. So actually that, that was a good move because now I can make this the cosine of theta times 2 sine theta plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so that did deal with that problem. So now I've got two different scenarios here. Either the cosine of theta is equal to 0 or the sine of theta would have to be equal to negative 1 half, okay, when you set each of these factors equal to 0. So now let's just think about this. Now let's think about cosine of theta equal to zero to start off with. Cosine of theta, as, as soon as you get a, uh, ratios like zero or one or whatever, uh, you should start to think about those in terms of the quadrantal angles because these are kind of extreme values. When we start talking about sine and cosine, it goes from one to negative one, but it also I mean, it has to pass through zero quite a bit here. The easiest way to kind of monitor that is to just think about it around the unit circle. So this is the point 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. I like the unit circle because the x-coordinate is the cosine of that angle. The y-coordinate is the sine of that angle. And I'm looking for where cosine goes to 0. And I'm seeing that that's going to happen here at 90 or at 270. Okay, but the domain that I'm working on here is a positive half rotation and a negative half rotation. So 270 actually doesn't fit in here. The 90 does. Okay, the 90 does. So one of these answers here is going to be 90 degrees, but not 270. This, this line is still in the domain, but it's just here along the negative rotation. So this is actually just going to be negative 90. So my two answers here are 90 and negative 90. Okay, now I take a look at my second factor. Sine of theta is equal to negative one-half. Okay, now bear in mind that we are talking about a positive half rotation and a negative half rotation. And now let's think, sine is negative where? Okay, well it's negative in quadrants four and three. So those are my two terminal arms. Okay, now notice I'm not even hitting the positive rotation here. Then I gotta think, okay, what, what angle do I associate uh, a half and sine? with, okay? Think back to your unit circle, think to your special triangles, hopefully it doesn't take you too long and you go, ah, that's got to be 30 degrees. So now, this angle here, this reference angle is 30 degrees. This is along a negative rotation though. So that's going to give me an angle of negative 30 degrees. Keep going, because there's this, this negative rotation also passes through this terminal arm. Okay, this is the 30 degrees, so this has got to be negative 180 minus 30. Sorry, actually it would be negative 180 plus 30 because I'm, I'm rotating that way. And this would be negative 150 degrees. And so my solutions here would be 90 and negative 90, negative 30, negative 150. 